In today's video, we're going to be cooking the Sympathy for the Deviled Egg Burger from Season 4, Episode 16 of Bob's Burgers titled, I Get the Psy Kick Out of You. It's an orange! It's an orange! Oh. Amazing! No, 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 whoa, no amazing. It's an orange. Mom's a psychic! No, she's not! Yes, I am! Sympathy for the deviled egg burger. The burger's probably gonna end up in looking just how it sounds. It's gonna be a deviled egg burger. The filling from a deviled egg is going to be the main sauce. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we're gonna see how it turns out. Usually the book doesn't let us down, so we'll see if it does today. Let's get off the ingredients and let's start cooking. Is there a more iconic holiday side dish than deviled eggs? They just hold a very special place in my heart. Ingredients today, we're rocking some eggs, mayonnaise, ground beef, mustard, white vinegar, some paprika, and to really show we aren't messing around, some pickle juice. Also some salt and pepper, which are just staples. After looking at the ingredients, I think it's gonna be a pretty simple burger, as long as you know how to make deviled eggs, which if you don't, obviously I'm gonna show you. So let's get some water boiling, get those eggs in there, and then we'll go from there. One of the best things to learn early on as a home cook is how to prepare eggs in different ways. For deviled eggs, we want to boil about six eggs, and to do so, we need to introduce the eggs into a boiling water bath for about eight minutes. I have found that to be the sweet spot where the yolks are 90% cooked, but there is still some liquidity to them. You want to make sure you take your time because the eggs can crack pretty easily and throw off your timing of the cook. For the most part, it's pretty easy. And once you have this process memorized, you can crank out deviled eggs very quickly or just a simple hard boiled egg as well. Once eight minutes have passed, we can remove the eggs from the heat and place them in an ice bath to stop the cooking and to make peeling the eggs a lot easier. I'm going to break one open so that you can see what it looks like inside. As you can see, it looks cooked but not dried out. That's exactly what we want. So now it's time to get started on the rest by cracking the eggs at the bottom. Depending on how fresh the eggs are, the shells will just fall off once you get some leverage. These are looking perfect. Now we can get started on actually preparing our deviled eggs filling, but first, let's dry them off a little bit, and then we can get going on slicing and dicing. We're going to be separating the egg yolks from the whites. For as simple of a dish the deviled eggs are, I actually have seen quite a few unique takes on them throughout my time on planet Earth. I've seen pickled deviled eggs, ones with candied bacon on top of them, I've even seen deviled eggs used as toppers for Bloody Marys. The point being that it's very cool to see how creative people can be. So what do we do with the remaining egg whites? Well, we're going to chop them up a decent amount and then we'll be adding them to our filling to give it some additional texture. Whatever you don't use though, you can eat, or in my case, you can feed it to your slightly overweight dog named Gravy. Good boy, Gravy. All right, back to the task at hand. Let's get some mustard in there for some classic flavor and tang, followed by some vinegar, paprika, the secret sauce known as pickle juice. I've actually never used pickle juice before and hit it with some salt and pepper and some mayonnaise. I went with Kewpie. And then really give it your all, mixing it all together. I elected to go with a more liquid sauce, but just slowly keep adding in your enhancers until you get the consistency that you personally want. Once everything is mixed, you can add in your egg whites and then combine together. Make sure you're tasting everything as you go along because you want it to end up salty and savory, but not too much of each. Your filling is pretty much complete. Congratulations, you absolute rock star. All right, the eggs are done. So we're gonna start prepping our meat so that we can get it onto the cast iron pan to cook up and start building our burger. You heard the man. And let's prep that hunk of meat, feast on film style. One of my cooking dreams is to actually grind my own meat one day. What about you? What are your cooking and kitchen goals? I've actually been house hunting recently and seeing some of these kitchens blows my mind. The burgers I could create with a griddle top, my goodness. Funny how our minds work though. We often think our tools are holding us back when it's probably just ourselves. The meat is prepped, so let's sit back and watch the cooking process unfold. How easy it would be to fall for you. But that of course is something I won't do Cause 
as we've agreed between you and me, we're nothing more than friends. How silly it would be to put this friendship to an end. How crazy that would be, yet here I am. So toasty. So let's build this burger, friends. Start by laying down the bottom bun. Follow that with some crisp lettuce. Then our juicy burger. Spread our deviled egg filling over the top. Sprinkle in some additional paprika and then complete it with our top bun. Perfection. Well, what do you guys think? From a look standpoint, it looks pretty good. I probably wouldn't order this one if I saw it on the menu, but we're gonna give it a shot regardless, so I'm gonna take a bite of this and tell you how it tastes. Bottoms up. That's interesting. That is very interesting, which, you know, with a response like that, your probably first reaction is, oh, it must not be that good. The consistency of the of the deviled egg sauce filling that we created is very weird on a burger. But, you know, as this bite settled in my mouth, it's actually pretty good. It, may be, it might not be as good as the past couple, but it's very unique and very tasty. With that said, I'm gonna review it. It's rating time. I'm gonna give this one a 7.75 out of 10. Somewhere in the mid tier of the burgers that we've created so far. Another burger down, about 50 more to go in this book. If you enjoy the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more content like this plus a lot more coming your way i'm gonna chow down and i'll see you next video peace